Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's Harry Box for the Tactical Trader at thetechtrader.com. And these are the charts of the day on July the 1st. So the second half of the year starts with a bang as the markets explode. Run all day until early afternoon when they pull back and consolidate a little bit. But it wasn't too bad. A lot of the stocks we watched did very well today. Let's take a look at a few of them, including a few new issues that we traded today that um, a couple of my um, institutional guys really like. But take a look at ANAT. It ran up sharply. When it first came out, then it slipped. Today it exploded with a breakaway gap and ran up 1361 at 22%. Huge. Biggest volume since IPO day. I think it falls through. I think you're going to see something like uh, 80, 82, maybe 85 on this move. Blackberry, awakening. That breakaway gap here on big volume and then this little flag for five days on lower volume told me the stock may be going higher. Indeed, two days in a row. My target, 12, 12 and a quarter, maybe, maybe uh, on this move. We'll see what happens. It's got to get through this level. Take a look at today's high, which was um, 1077. These highs up here in the 1080, 90 area. So we have a triple top. We can punch through. Certainly 12 and a quarter is doable. <clears throat> BCRX, the swing trade, only up 27 cents at 2%, but decent volume. It looks like it's continuing to push forward. Take a look at the way it's settled in here. Nice action, holding up. Steadily rising. I think the top of the channel may be gotten near 15, but we got to get through this double top first, which we're testing right now, 13 and a quarter. Today's high, 13.17. It backed off to close to 13.02, but as you can see, right up near resistance right here. Through that, the longer term pattern says we may very well get up into the low to mid 20s at some point, but for now, I'm looking for the stock to get up towards 6, 15, 16 zone. CLDX, one of my favorites and acting well. You can see today's action, got it. Perhaps out of this little pullback three week consolidation. It jumped a dollar or 6.6%. It may be coming out of this coil pattern. Once it does, I'm looking for a test of 1810. And through that, 20 and 22, maybe more. EDAP, well, this stock's been running. I just wanted to show it to you. It's been pretty impressive. As it broke out of the base, consolidated, ran up, took resistance, backed off, held the moving averages to 10 day. It has for four or five weeks. The last two days it spiked up. I think it's headed for six, short term. FOLD, well, Amicus Therapeutics broke out here with a spike on yesterday's action. Today it followed through and got all the way up to 4.30 before backing off to 3.99. We're still up 65 cents. A little disappointed in the late action, but really strong buy-in, 14.8 million. And you can see why resistance here is thwarting the advance. Next stop, if it does go, to test this area right up here around six. Keep an eye on this one. Could get 50% in this area. GPRO, best way to look at this beauty is to look at it on a 15-minute uh, chart. And you can see since the IPO, pop, flag, pop, pull back, a little wedge, form a, an ascending coil, retest the moving average, break out, flag again, run up sharply, pull back today, test the moving average as well. Actually forming a trend channel now, right there. Late action and after hours action shows yet another wedge forming. I don't think the stock is dead. Done, I should say. I think this stock has the potentiality to reach. Let's take a quick look at the five minute chart. And I think there's a chance that if we break out of here without falling, pulling back, 52 3 is my target. Looking good. Up next is GTAT. Another nice day up 66 cents. It reached new high but backed off. That's always the problem. When a new high is reached, we break out of a flag and it pulls back. We want to wait to see if there's a follow through. 12.7 million, good volume. Middle channel targets 24. I think that's where GTAT is going. EWPH, well, acted great the last couple of three weeks. As a matter of fact, since it broke out of the apex of this coil, down near 50, uh, 60, excuse me, 70, it's run straight up to 111. 41 points in this run up. Now, the mid-channel line was up around 114. Didn't quite get there. Got to 111 today and backed off four points. So, 
Well, let's just say that it's broken out, it pulled back the test, it ran up to mid-channel. I think it's going to continue to press higher, looking for 125, something like that next move. HK, Halcon Resources, continues to really impress with a beautiful rising channel. Breaking out again today to 748. That's the highest level we've seen in Halcon going way back to August of 2013. Oh, excuse me, May of 2013. But there's a triple top up there that's been my target all along at 88 and a quarter, and I suspect we're going to reach there. New issue JD. I like the way it's looking in here. This is a pop little flag pop falling wedge, another pop and breakout today. It did back off, but let's take a look at the 15-minute chart. You can see the way it's set up since the IPO. Well, let's go a little bit further. 30 minutes, there you go. So it ran up, consolidated, ran again, falling wedge, much like we saw in a couple other stocks. And like a nice steady run up to the mid-channel today before backing, excuse me, before backing off right at that little top of the channel, pulling back and basing out. Watch this one tomorrow. If it gets over the 30, 20 area, I think we can accelerate to retest the 31 area, but much more potentially. It's a long-term chart or intermediate term chart. It's showing me the possibilities that it may at some point give me an additional run up to 34.5. Netflix. Boy, does that look good of late. Take a look at this. When the breakout came here, the moving average just crossed over, it just kept running. Pulled back for a few days to test. Pop again to resistance and flag. What a breakout today. Up 32.50. 5.428 million. Clean breakout to new all-time highs. At the very least, I would expect it to continue or extend until it gets up near five and a quarter. That's my next target. Another 45.50 points. 3D stocks were really running today on the news that Envo may have created um, 3D print printed blood vessels, and that's fantastic news. I'm actually surprised that that didn't explode. I was told that they were the ones doing that. I didn't see that news, but that's what I was told. In any case, you can see where 9 for three days has been a problem, 9, 915. If we can get through there, I'm looking for 1065 and then 12 and a quarter. Those are my next targets. Watch this consolidation here and break out of that line could really get it going. SUNE edging ever so slightly higher up another 52 cents or 2.3%, 10.6 million traded. And if we can extend this, you can see my targets mid range, 25, 6 range, 29 and a half, 30, and then maybe mid 30s. Another new issue tour, which popped a week after it came out, backed off and consolidated, broke out and flagged for two days, broke out again today to test. Resistance. There's a triple top here. If we get above today's high of 1935, this could run into the low 20s. I got a $22 target on. Twitter. Very interesting action on Twitter today. And you can see how it continues to edge higher. Been a nice channel up for the last three, four weeks, five weeks. And I'm only showing this because a lot of people have asked me about it. This appears to be the rising channel. I think it may get up to 45.6 before nuts alone. BDSI, a swing trade, woke up after the breakout and the falling wedge, held the moving average. The stock popped today, 52 cents or 4.5%. Mine wasn't big, and I'll be looking for that, but I think we get to 14.5. BJet, another one of those 3D stocks that did great today. As you can see, the stock popped right to resistance and held most of the gains today up. 496 to 23.7%. If we can get through here, you can see that stock running even further. But I'm feeling like it's going to back off and consolidate. WPRT edged through the resistance level I was looking for. After popping out and flagging, it's moved up nicely. It's been up seven days in a row. But I feel now this could run a little bit. My targets are 20 and 22. And lastly, the zag, which we talked about yesterday. You can see the base was broken with a thrust. First of all, it popped on big volume two days ago. That was on the Friday option expiration day. It's followed through beautifully this week so far. It's actually reached second resistance already, and my first target up around the 580 range, and it hit that exactly today. If 
we fill the gap, we can see the stock is six and a half. But I think eventually, we're looking at another seven or eight dollar stock. And that's it tonight, folks. I'll talk to you in the training room tomorrow. Take it easy.